Hi friends! Well, I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight. Here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Tour opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hello, hello, friends. Happy Tuesday. So let's jump into it. Let's talk real quick about Club Couture, which is the hottest DIY uh, home decor subscription service out there. It's $19.99 plus tax in the U.S., $26.99 plus tax in Canada. Free shipping on your monthly Club Couture transfer every single mo month. Now, what does that get you? It will get you similar to what you see in the photo here, an exclusive size B transfer and three coordinating chalk paste singles. Now, let's talk about what we see in the picture right now. This is our June Club Couture called Shine. It says, nothing can dim the light that shines from within, and it is a quote from Maya Angelou, and it's beautiful. It comes with bumblebee, daffodil, and iris coordinating chalk paste singles. Um, when you join Club Couture or on my site, um, after you add Club Couture into your cart, it'll prompt you to say, would you like to add the current month's Club Couture into your cart? And you could say yes or no. You will also have the ability to add the Kickstarter kit into your cart. The Kickstarter kit is awesome and will help you to continue to create every single month with your monthly Club Couture transfer. It comes with a 9x12 porcelain steel Ada Magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, a multi-tool, and our 55 x 75 frame. Now, what are some of the perks? Well, number one, when you join Club Couture under me, you go into my private Club Couture group where I make three additional pro additional projects every single month without fail. Another thing you get is you get bonus flat rate shipping. So my, all my customers receive flat rate shipping. You currently are receiving $6.95 flat rate in the US and $13.95 flat rate in Canada on your entire order. As a Club Couture customer though, you will get bonus shipping, flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the US and $9.95 in Canada on your entire order. You also have access to special sales that Chalk Couture will offer our Club Couture customers. And this month, the special is actually revolving around our June Summer Creative Kickstart promo, okay? Which I'm going to go into right after that, or right after this. So let me tell you, if you are interested in getting all of the details about Club Couture, comment club down below, and I'll be sure to message you each and every one of those details so that way you can see it for yourself. Also, if at any time during this that you would like to go into my VIP group and you are not a Chalk Couture designer, comment me down below and I'll send you that link. Now, remember that awesome 
promo I was just talking about? Well, we've got two of them this month. We have our summer creative kickstart. And the first thing we have is the Lift Where You Stand project kit. This kit includes the Lift Where You Stand size B transfer, the gold frame 10 inch round surface. You're going to get marvelous and shimmer gold chalk paste singles and a small squeegee. Now this values at $39.85 in the US, $53.69 in Canada, but you can bring it home for $34.99 in the US, $46.99 in Canada. And as a Club Couture customer, you get to bring it home for only $29.99 in the U.S. and $39.99 in Canada. Now, we have another one. It is the Good Gets Better Chalk Transfer. Okay, it's a size D transfer. It is $29.99 in the U.S., $39.99 in Canada. But as a Club Couture customer, you get to take it home for only $24.99 in the U.S. and $33.99 in Canada. It is an awesome deal, you guys. They are while supplies last or through the end of June, whichever comes first, okay? Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about before we jump into my live today is the ability to purchase your new designer kit, aka business in a box, and join my team. This is our new designer kit. It's $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S., $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada. It's valued at $250 in the U.S. and $350 in Canada. It comes with five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank-you cards, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, our gorgeous spring-summer catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, and that monthly club couture shine. Now, I realize I just threw a whole lot of information out at you and you might be saying, girl, that is great, but I have got some questions. No worries. I've got your answers. Come and join down below and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be a decision you're happy with. Okay, let's throw a little something up here for all my new friends who are just learning about Chalk Couture while I get my camera angles ready. So, hey, Michelle. Hi, Margaret Miller. Hey, Sean Marie. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Brianne. Hi, Lisa Vatten. Hi, Trish. Hi, Kim Widener. Hey, Lori Robbins. Hi, Kathy Wilkie. Hi, Melissa Garcia. Hi, Lourdes. Hi, Dion. Happy Tuesday. Hi, Sage. How are you, sunshine? Hi, Mary Beth. Uh, hi, Megan. Hi, Burn. Burn, did you see eucalyptus chalk paste comes back in today? Hi, Carol Hefner. How are you? So welcome, you guys. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to continue with Pillow Week. Now, I do have a box that is available for the week or while supplies run out. All you need to do is comment box down below. Um, if you commented it yesterday, it's the same box. Um, they are super sweet. The entire project picture. Oh, come on. Entire project picture plus the cost and how to purchase will come to you through Messenger from my bot. Just comment box down below, okay? So I'll put that back up again in a little while. But let's go ahead and let's talk about this awesome transfer. Now, when I first saw this transfer, I was like, what am I going to do with a giant face? That was my first thought. But I love it now that I've seen it. And I've been waiting to do my pillow week to be able to do this. Um, I think it's going to look super cute. And, you know, I'm not even doing anything fancy with it. I'm using some good old-fashioned black velvet uh, couture ink, which is due back in stock this week, I believe. Um, I was considering doing shimmer gold, but I was like, nah, once again, I don't want to do that because it's going to clash with everything. So I'm going to go with good old-fashioned black velvet couture ink. On the second square canvas pillowcase that I from when I used yesterday, um, our square canvas pillow covers come in a two pack. So you get two pillows, okay, for the price. Now I've already ironed it and my ink mat is inserted in there. I'll have you know. I did not forget that this time. Um, so you're welcome, Burn. It's three o'clock PM Mountain Standard Time. Isn't it fun, April? Hello, Jeannie Grimm. Okay, so since this is the first time we're using this transfer, we're going to go ahead and we're going to label the back of the carrier sheet. Why do we do that? Well, our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. So once we are done using it, we want to go ahead and replace it back onto the carrier sheet the right way. The side I wrote on is the paper side. The side that the transfer is on is the glossy side, okay? Can you see that? So we want to replace it back on the glossy side because you know what? If we try to put it on the paper side, think of what happens on a sticker uh, with a sticker on a piece of paper. It's going to wreck it, right? So we don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my transfer um, stationary with one hand and I'm going to pull 
the carrier sheet off with the other, okay? Just like so. Make sure it doesn't fold upon itself, which I'm pretty famous for doing. If you don't know that by now, I am a hot mess. And it just happens sometimes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, now when I am using our ink, I will not fuzz the transfer. I want it to stick super well onto my canvas. So I'm going to just pop it on down just like so. I'm going to make sure it's kind of sort of centered here. There it goes. Much better. Okay. Okay. just like this. And I'm going to just push it down. Wait, do you see how fast this project comes together? I was seriously considering painting my canvas pillow cover, but I was like, hmm, nah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to have it just go the natural canvas color with black velvet ink because it's classic. It's just, it just doesn't get any better than that. Now I'm making sure that all of my areas are pushed down super well and I have no bumps in my silk screen area. Doesn't matter if I have silk screen in the uh, bumps in the silks uh, in the teal area rather. Doesn't matter if I have bumps there because I'm not putting my chalk piece there. I'm only putting it on the open silk screen area, right? Hi Tracy. You're going to remind me, Dion, I love you. I love my teal dyed pillow cover with the cute face on it on back. I put the family quote so reversible. Absolutely, Kathy. I'm going to be re reversing my pillows this week. Um I got my ink mat, Karen. Hey, Jansta. Thank you for the reminder, Karen. You guys are awesome. Yeah, yesterday, debacle, but we fixed it. How fun was that error? I put the finished project pick, by the way, in um, the comments on yesterday's post. Okay, so what I'm going to do is when I ink, I like to go top to bottom or bottom to top. <gasps> oh, my God. I thought that was the ink I just knocked over. Oh, that just scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Um, I like to go top to bottom or bottom to top. And the reason why I like to is I notice for myself, if I have bumps in my silk screen area that I missed, if I go, whoops, if I go side to side, I notice I have more bleeds than if I go top to bottom. So I'm just trying to eliminate the bleeds that I could have if I missed anything. Okay. All right. So all I'm going to do is get a small squeegee and I'm going to take the ink that's on my squeegee. And I always like to start above the screen. Okay. And I'm just going to pull the ink right on down. Okay. Just pull it right straight down. Seriously, does not get any easier than this. See? Just want to make sure it's all covered. Now with our ink, because it, uh, it ultimately absorbs into the, um, the canvas, you got a little bit more time to work with it unlike our chalk paste where you have to work with that quick because it'll dry inside the screen. And when you pull the screen up, you pull all the chalk paste up. This sits inside of your, um, your canvas, your, your, um, textile, I should say. Okay. It's super easy. And with it, with, with this, you don't want to go over anything that's, you know, the teal color, because it's a waste. It's a waste of your ink, a waste of your chalk paste. You just want to make sure that you're doing just the silk screen area, okay? And I am already almost completed. How cool is that? And then we're going to have a super fun pillow. I just want to have, like I said, my backyard area. I want it to be super relaxing and inviting. I want people to feel like they can relax and have fun. I want little brands, friends, once, you know, everything goes back to normal, um, I want them to feel like they can have a good time, you know, very relaxing. And it's so nice that I can make my own decor to do that. All right. Now I want to make sure that I have no ink on my fingertips when I go to peel this up and I look pretty clean compared to how I did yesterday. Now, once I peel it up, I'm going to get it from the center and start peeling back so I don't stretch or distort my transfer. And I'm going to slowly peel back because if there's any places with the ink that I feel like I didn't get it heavy enough or I didn't go well enough over it, I'm going to put it right back down. Like, see right there, I see a spot I feel like needs a little bit more ink. I think it was right there at the tip there. I can't remember where it was. Yeah, it was right there. And see how I'm just taking my time, peeling it back. And that way, if I catch anything, I can just quick replace it, right? So far, so good. Just like this, just keep on pulling. And then once I get this off, I'm going to go run it inside my sink real quick. So that way I don't get ink anywhere. 
And look at that. Perfection. See how good that looks? All right, I will be right back. Let me get this right inside the sink. Oh, please don't let me knock the ink over. That would not be good. I'll be right back. Transfer's all washed. We always want to make sure we wash ink out of the silk screen as fast as possible when we're done because the ink can dry in the silk screen and then it'll sort of mess your design up, okay? Um, you don't want to do that, right? Now let's go ahead and let's get the lid back onto our ink and we're going to get the ink mat out of the pillow and we're going to go ahead and dry it. Look how good this looks. I do, Kate. Yes. Hi, Cindy. I miss lives. Yes, we're going to need to go back and watch. Yes, April, you'll totally have to. Hi, Christy Sneed. Hi, Iris. Hey, Chris. Oh, no, Karen. Hi, Melinda. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Becky. Hi, Debbie Green. Hi, Carol Hefner. Perfection, right, Dion? It's adorable, isn't it, Carolyn? Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Dusty. Hi, Rhonda. I can also go with lots of decor in your home. Good choice for the color. Thank you, Rhonda. Hi, Jean Fires. How are you? I love this on the pillow, too. It's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get my ink mat out. And then we're going to heat, uh, we're going to dry it, and then we're going to heat set it. And I heard my iron going off when I was walking to the sink. Okay, there we go. So now we're good again. So let's get our blow dryer or our heat tool and let's dry the ink. We cannot heat set it until we dry the ink. Look how good this turned out. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hey, Vicki Hunter. Isn't it so cute, Melinda? You know what I would love to do? And I'm gonna see. Oh, I wonder if I can get some. You know what would be adorable on this? Some like ball ribbon. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like ribbon that has the little hangy balls. And I would love to just um, fabric tack it all around the pillowcase. But I don't have that. So what I'm going to have to do is report back with that picture once I do it. But I think it would look so cute around it. Or some fringe around this. Maybe some gold fringe. Oh, that would be fun. I wonder if I can buy that online because none of our stores are open yet. Doesn't it, Liz? Hi, Heidi. Trisha's transfer's awesome, I'm telling you. And you'll know your ink is dry because it'll be tacky to the touch. Um, or if you, if it's, wow, it's soaked right on in on this one. That's great. Oh, nope, that's way wet. Okay, I gotta dry that off my hands ASAP. How long should you dry? I just make sure it's dry to the touch, Carolyn. And then I'll heat set if I'm doing layers. Pom-pom ribbon. Thank you, Sarah. Hi, Heidi.
I think we're pretty dry. Isn't it adorable, Iris? Hi, Jane. I love this transfer too, girl. All right, so this is it. That's all we got to do there. Let's get our, what did I do with the parchment paper? Oh, here it is. Let's get our parchment paper and we're going to go ahead and heat set it. And guess what? It's all done. Like, seriously, if you are trying to make a gift for somebody, it's like easy peasy. All right, so when it comes to heat setting, you can use either an uh, iron on a cotton setting for four minutes on both sides. Or you can use a heat press on 330 for 30 seconds on both sides. Using both an iron and the heat heat uh, heat press, you need a parchment paper barrier or the silicone barrier thing that you can get with some heat presses. Uh, yeah, Kathy, I was thinking on a shirt for sure. I just would do it on the front of like a shirt, like uh, what do you call those shirts that like you cut the, I like to do it with you cut your uh, collars off on an angle. How cute would that be, right? That would be adorable. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just going over it, popping the um, heat press around, getting it all done. But yeah, totally. Some pom-pom ribbon, man. It would look awesome if I could find black pom-pom ribbon. Oh, heck yes. I wonder if that exists. Let's see while we're doing this heat press. Black pom pom whoops ribbon. Uh yeah, it sure does. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is perfect. Yes, 20 yards. That's pretty good. Yeah, I could go with 20 yards. I'm gonna order it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's just get this last one done. Oh, it's going to take a little while to come in, though. That's no fun. How awesome is that? Can I get this? This would be Saturday. And I think this is kind of cuter. 20 yards. Yeah. Oh, I found fringe. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Do they have any other colors other than beige? Did I already do over here? I think I did. Okay, so let's flip it inside out now, and we're going to do the inside. What is this called? Tassel fringe ribbon. Do they have this in black? Oh, they do. Oh, it's not as good, though. I kind of like the one. I'll go with cream. That's fine. I could dye it. Let's get that into my cart, man. There it goes. Oh, this pillow is going to be adorable. If you guys don't have this transfer, you're going to need to get it. The show. <gasps> Wait a second. Can I make tassels? I could probably make some of my own little tassels. But, well, it's easier if I have it in the ribbon. Because then I can just, like I said, I'll just use some fabric tack. Glue it on and it's ready to go. You know me and fabric tack. It's like my BFF. And remember, if you are brand new and you are looking to get your hands on an awesome bundle this week to go along with my pillow theme, um, because what's in the bo the bundle box this week, I will be um, making something similar to those items this week that we, and I'll be showing you live how to do it. It's going to be so, oops, hold on. Wait a second. I forgot to add my parchment paper. Why did I zip it? What was I thinking there? Silly girl. How the heck? How did I do this? <laughs> Hold on. Me have done a little blooper here. Well, that's not good. Why did I do this? Can someone tell me what the heck I was thinking here? <sighs> Silly. I think I was all excited at the thought of the fringe. And I just lost track of what I was doing. Don't zipper the pillow from the inside out. <sighs> all right. Let's pop our parchment paper in between so it doesn't get stuck. The ink doesn't get stuck to the inside of the pillow. Okay, let's heat set again. 
And now when I do the inside, I just go all around. I don't do it any particular way, you know? Hi, Kat. Hello, Deborah Lynn, Ivy Marlowe from Mississippi. How are you? Hello, hello. Make corner tassels. That would be so cute too, Heidi. I'm thinking I can do that. I don't, I don't know. Actually, I don't have that color. Dang it. I need a lot more supplies for some of the things I want to do. Okay. So guess what, you guys? This is, hold on, I gotta get my parchment paper back. This is all done. Hi, Vicki Crone. Okay. Check this out. Now I can zip it up the right way. Oh, it looks so good. And it's going to look even better once I add the tassels to it. Oh, it's going to be so, so good. So, so good. Oh my gosh. Do you love it? I love it. I can't wait to put this out. Hi, Leanne. Hey, Gerardo. How are you? So that's what I got for you today for pillow week, you guys. I hope you love it. Um, if you want to grab both of these are in stock. Our wink Pill, uh, our wink size D transfer and our two pack canvas pillow covers. Super fun. Like I said, I'm going to add tassels to mine. I just have to order it because I forgot and our stores still are not open. It's not like I could just quick run and grab stuff. Um, but I love it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. If you'd like to go into my VIP group and you are not a chalk couture designer, comment me down below. If you'd like to have, hear all about joining my team and purchasing your business in a box, comment join down below for the link to my opportunity group. And if you'd like all the details about Club Couture, comment club down below and I will message them all over to you. For the details on my bundle box this week, comment box down below. Um, and that is all I've got for you guys. I hope you have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon with another super fun project. Um, and I guess that's it, guys. Make it a great day, okay? I will talk to you all later. Bye! Bye!